So Kim Nielsen back here. He's uh, he's a handy rider on a technical track, and he's got that inside gate in heat number one. Here we go then. First time this evening. Takes her up sharp, and away we go. Martin Bashley makes a good effort there from gate number two with Cabrera around the outside. Nielsen now coming out of the inside. Oh, Martin Bashley all out of shape. That allows Kim Nielsen to pounce. Surges through to the front. Good opportunity move there. Cabrera now coming on strong. Just has to back out of it as they go into the first turn for the second time. Once again, Bashley under pressure. Yeah, Martin Bashley's left himself open after uh, front wheel coming up in the air down the back straight on the opening lap. That left a big hole for Kim Nielsen. He didn't need to invite him second time. Martin Bachelet, it looks like he's got just a bit too much wheel spin, but he's going to hang on in second place. What an opening ride from Nielsen. Didn't win that many races last season in the Grand Prix. Made a final in Tetro, but uh, apart from that, he had a tough time. But what a way to come back into the Grand Prix series. Interesting to see Anders Thompson here. He's going to want to keep that white suit clean. He's in great form this year. <laughs> Very eye catching at the moment. Here we go. Tapes are up. Away we go. They go charging into the first turn. And it's Andre Lebedev who makes a lovely fist of it from gate number three. Here comes Thompson. Nice first turn from Thompson to get up the inside. He's running Lebedev's wide. Here comes Smartflick up the inside. He's now sweetly moved into second place. Hukenbeck is at the back. Thompson now mid -trail. Track, lifting about, a little bit uncomfortable, but Smarzlik settling into the race nicely. Yeah, and there's Thompson in search of grip. He's moving out wider than Bartosz Smarzlik. Smarzlik's happy to run around the inside. He made it work on Lebedev. Can he make it work Ooh. on Anders Thompson? A mistake there. I think that might be enough. Not quite. Since that Smarzlik hasn't thrown the kitchen sink at this opening heat. But Anders Thompson, the wild card, here in Boyens, delights the home crowd. Coming through nicely there, he was under a lot of pressure, mid-race from Bartosz Smarslik. Smarslik with a second place in heat number four, this is heat number five, can he pick up his first win of the evening? He'll be hoping so. Oh, Patrick just had a little bit of a movement there. Tell you what, Smarzlik was on the back wheel. Kim Nilsson around the inside. Look at this from Janowski. Coming on strong, but Smarzlik somehow maintains his lead down the back straight. Slams the door shut in front of Nilsson. Around the outside is Matze Janowski. Conditions a little tricky. They're just lifting at moments when they don't want to. Look at Nilsson coming up the inside. And now Max Frick is beginning to make his presence felt. But he's out of shape through turns one and two. Smarzlik out in front. This is exactly what the doctor ordered for him. Clearly a little nervous in his first ride, but he's back to winning ways in heat number five. Strong start to the night, five points out of six from two outings. And that will settle the nerves for the reigning champion, that's for sure. Here we go then, heat number eight. Everybody wanting more this time. Tapes up, we're into the first turn. Lambert's got there, round the outside. Comes Lebedev. What a first corner from Lebedev. Held it absolutely flat out and just roared to the front. Now coming up the inside is Kubera. No, not quite managing to get there. Lambert settling in second place with Beauty at the back. Stunning first corner from Lebedev. Yeah, I don't know how Lebedev does it, but he's got a, a weird style in the first turn in particular. On, on every race, he just gets the bike, finding that bit of extra traction. Whichever gate he comes from, he's coming under pressure now, though. He's gone defensive around the inside. It's giving Lambert all the room. I've got a feeling Lambert could be getting by him. Right, Lambert now beginning to put a lot of pressure on Lebedev. Charging into the final lap. Lebedev's going wide. Lambert charging back up the inside. Ooh, that was tight, that was. Lebedev's holding firm. He's got a bit untidy in the second half of the race. It's going to get very, very close as we go to the conclusion. Lebedev holds on. He deserved that, really, because that first corner was outstanding from Lebedev. Got the better of the opposition. Lambert, who has been in outstanding form. He's had opportunities to win Grand Prix, hasn't quite managed to do so, but it won't be far away And the man who lies in third in the championship chase right now. Here we go then. Everything's plugged back in. Good news. Takes her up. Away we go. Lambert's made a lovely start. He's on the inside. Quebec's come up the inside. On wide, but he's recovered nicely there, Lambert. Thought for a moment Quebec was going to get up the inside. Round the outside comes Huckenbeck. Good effort from him. Oh, my goodness. He's going to hit the fence. Oh, oh he has done. How well, on earth did well, he stay on the motorbike? Lambert's out in front. He's missing all the fireworks. Robert Lambert is a country mile away here. We fancied his chances off the inside gate, and he delivers. Doubles his score right there. Good ride.
from Yanovsky. He maintains his scoring abilities. And uh, Hukenbeck just getting beaten up there. I'll tell you what, Hukenbeck was lucky there, you know. He, he clouted the fence on the back wheel hard. Yeah, but what a lineup it is. Lambert winning last time, Chris. He looked very impressive. Yeah, he did when he was out front. He was quick, but it is going to be tough coming from this gate three. It's really not working at all well. He's going to do something special in this first turn. Here we go then. Heat number 14 takes her up. Martin Vasilik absolutely nailed that. Smarslik chopping back to the inside. Intelligent first corner from him. Holder coming into the picture as well. Look at Martin Vasilik, totally committed. Ducks under the handlebar of Smarslik as they enter turn number three. Now Vasilik's out in front. Smarslik will be relatively pleased with second place here. And Lambert is at the back with Vasilik out in front. Yeah, Smarslik will settle for second place here. Martin Vasilik, this could be a Big, big three points for him. He would move on to eight points. That would take a little bit of pressure off. Battle at the back now with Holder up the inside. And Robert Lambert just moved, missing that corner. Yeah, Robert Lambert working very hard indeed, trying to get the better of Jack Holder. I think he's going to do it now. He does indeed. Martin Vashlik winding it on out in front. Bartosz Marslik just sitting comfortably in second place. He'll move on to a double-figure score. He'll be on to ten. One last blast through this final quarter. Martin Vashlik, well, that's a turnaround. He has uh, dug deep there. He uh, rode his heart out out in front there with Schmarslik sitting pretty there. Matze Janowski cannot afford to slip up here because if he does, then he won't make the semi-finals. And that'll be a shame for him because he's ridden well tonight, but he failed to score last time. Rasmus Jensen already, I would suggest, is there on nine. Any points here for uh, Rasmus Jensen is going to be a bit of a bonus. Here we go then. Heat to number 18, takes up into the first turn. Janowski's got there. Around the outside, Libedev's trying to get there, but he's blocked by Martin Vashlik. Vashlik coming up into um, uh, second place now. This is more like it from Janowski. Disappointed in his fourth ride. Firing away out in front. Libedev's is in third. Jensen is out the back. Maxo Janowski, classy in front. Yeah, looking good in front. They're making full use of the inside gate that's worked so well tonight. Disappointment for uh, Rasmus Jensen. Gate three not to his liking this time, but he has nine points. Should be enough for a semi final Maxo Janowski he's there good way to finish his qualifying terrific ride from him he had the inside gate it's been uh, very successful tonight but he does not miss out here we go then first semi-final big race for Bartosz Smarzik on the inside the tapes are up he doesn't miss out he's made a lovely start Bike worked beautifully. What a start from Lebedev. Where did he come from? He comes roaring across from the outside. Fabulous moment for him. But for Bartosz Marslik, clearly out in front. Leading the way. Martin Vashlik back in third. Kubera's at the back. Smarslik is going his way tonight. Bartosz Marslik has won 25 Grand Prix. He's going to make another final here. Andre Lebedev's on the verge of making his maiden final. What a moment it is going to be for him. We're coming through the last corner in the first semi-final. And Smarslik is there. He's done it. Hasn't put a foot wrong tonight. He's been no worse than second throughout the evening. Here we go. Semi-final number two. Green light comes on. Now. Takes up. Away we go. Janowski's made a really good start. Lambert's there right alongside him. It was a level break. Look at that from Gulli. He comes back into third place. Robert Lambert trying to push on through. But Janowski holds firm. He runs wide. Robert Lambert up the inside. But Janowski hangs on. Gulli now giving chase back in third place with Jensen out the back. Robert Lambert up the inside. Coming on strong. Yeah, Robert Lambert doing everything he can. He doesn't want to get held up by Janowski. He will have looked. He will know Dan Gulli's behind him. He knows how quick. Dan Bewley can go, he doesn't want Janowski to hold him up, but Bewley, the harder he tries, the further back he goes. It's looking like it's going to be Janowski and Robert Lambert, Lambert's going to keep the championship alive, coming through here, I hope I'm right in that case, but I really believe I am, and Janowski and Lambert are through to the final, Dan Bewley and, yeah, and uh, Rasmus Jensen just missing out there in the second semi-final, first or second here, and he will be a five-time world champion. The riders coming forward now. Start Marshall looks up at the referee, moves away. 
Green light is on. Tapes are up. Robert Lambert's made an absolutely sensational start from gate number two. He fires himself to the front. Lebedev comes around the outside. Smarsling slips back to third place. Round the outside is Max Eunos. Here comes Sir Bartos Smarsling. Oh, what a move from him. Robert Lambert. Will he win the Grand Prix? Will he win his first Grand Prix here in Boyens? We're down the back straight. Robert Lambert has cleared off out in front. His heart rate must be through the roof. So much and so also the same applies for Bartos Smarsling. We've got a less than a lap to go. Robert Lambert with a stunning start out of gate number two. This is a special moment for him. He wins his first Grand Prix in Boyers and Smarsling is a five-time world speedway champion here in Denmark tonight. What a moment. When you consider what happened here 12 months ago, he comes back and wins the championship in Denmark. What a moment for Smarslik, and many congratulations to Robert Lambert for winning his maiden Grand Prix. Terrific result. Yeah, it's all happening here tonight. Robert Lambert wins his first ever Speedway Grand Prix. But Bartosz Smarslik, five-time world champion, first Speedway Grand Prix rider to go three on the trot.